Good morning and welcome to chapter 16, the respiratory system. We're going to do a Miss Marsha's mini lesson. Um, and so now I'm going to share my screen. All right, so chapter 16, the respiratory system. The respiratory system subsection is arranged by anatomic site. For example, the nose, accessory sinus, larynx, and then by procedure, for example, incision, excision, and introduction. Your knowledge of respiratory terminology is important. Um, so I have actually uh, added some anatomy and it's kind of giving us where things are placed. For example, the nasal cavity, the nasal cochlea, conchia, the nose, the larynx, the trachea. Um, please remember that in your CPT manuals, you have great resources for making sure you know what part of the anatomy where something is placed. So let's talk about endoscopy. During an endoscopy procedure, a scope is placed through the exi existing body orifices or opening, or a small incision is made into the cavity for the scope placement. When sinus endoscopies are performed, a scope is placed through the nose into the navel, nasal cavity. Codes for sinus endoscopy is 31231 through 31294. So please keep in mind, multiple procedures may be performed within different sinuses, the frontal, the maxillary, and the ethmoid sinuses during the same operative session. The CPT manual has combined into a single code some of the multiple sinus procedures commonly performed at an endoscopy. Endoscopic procedures may start at one site, such as the nose, and follow through to another site, such as the larynx or the bronchial tubes. It is important to choose the code that most appropriately reflects the furthest extent of the procedure. Please code to the fullest extent of the procedure. Now, if the scope stops at the larynx, you cannot code to the bronchial tubes, but in your medical record, it's going to state where the scope stopped. You always make sure you're coding to where the scope stopped. So let's talk about uh, this next part, the approach for the procedures. The approach of, sur of surgery, of surgery. There's open surgery. And open surgery is one in which the patient is cut open. A typical open surgery involves the use of a scapula or scalpel to make sure an incision into the skin and cut through the various layers of the dermis and subdermal layers and tissues to get to the desired tissue or organ. Some open surgeries use a laser to make the incision. Okay, all that saying is an open surgery is exactly what it sounds like. They're going to cut you open. Now let's talk about an endoscopic surgery. An endoscopic surgery is a surgical technique that involves the use of an endoscope, a special viewing instrument that allows a surgeon to see images of the body's internal structure through very small incisions. Endoscopic surgery has been used for decades in a number of different procedures, including a gallbladder removal, a tubal ligation, and knee surgery. So let's move straight into putting this into action. So um, I took these from exercise 16.1, endoscopy. So number one says endoscopic, maxillary, and strostomy. So in your index of your CPT, you're going to go to maxillary sinus, and then it says and strostomy, and it gives us a code range. So the first code says, or 31256 says, nasal sinus endoscopy surgical with maxillary astronomy. That is exactly what this says. Endoscopic maxillary 
and strotomy. Endoscopy surgical with maxillary and strotomy. So your correct answer is going to be 31256. So again, in the index, you're looking for maxillary sinuses. Here, it just says maxillary. So when you go to maxillary, you're going to see maxillary sinus, and that's where you get your anstrotomy. All right. Biopsy of an intranasal lesion. So you're going to go to your index. You're going to look up biopsy, nose, because intranasal is the nose, intranasal, 301, 100, and then we need to check our tabular. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought maybe I had taken a picture of it, but I did not. So you're going to go and you're always going to code two ways. Remember that? Code two ways. So 30100, and I've already checked it, so I know that that's correct. But remember, don't just grab the one from the index. Go to your tabular and um, make sure that that's what you need. So unilateral, total lung lavage, following more inhalation, CPT code. So our key term here is lavage, lavage. So in your index, you would look lavage. Anatomic site is lung. And it is a total, three, two, nine, nine, seven. So again, we look under lavage lung. It was a total. It says it in our scenario, 32997. Now you would check it in your tabular. Let's talk about some important modifiers for chapter 16. So modifier 50 means bilateral is assigned when polyps are removed from both the left and the right sides of the nose. Okay. Could you use it for more than that? Yes, but this is giving you an example. So if you're doing a bilateral procedure, if it does not indicate that the code is bilateral, you're going to amend a modifier 50 to your CPT code. Multiple endoscopic procedures may be performed through the same scope during the operative session. When this occurs, each procedure should be reported with a modifier 51, multiple procedures. So 51 is multiple procedures, 50 is bilateral. So the last thing that we're gonna talk about are your coding shots found within your chapter. Please, please, please read these. This information is very useful. So I hope that this little mini lesson helped. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.